Hey Chainmail Chasers, Davey here, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, I'm a new guy, so don't be alarmed. My friend's been having some computer issues lately, so I'm helping out. Uh, with introductions out of the way, let's do one last thing before we get into the video. Only 29% of our viewers are subscribed. It's crazy. So, if you want to give me a welcome to the neighborhood gift, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and rang the bell. Anyway, the rake is originally described in the pasta as a naked humanoid entity with an unnatural posture and black and hollow eyes. It's known to come to people while they're sleeping, often appearing at the foot of their bed, and encounters that are clearly traumatic for the victims. Accounts gathered in the story speak of the rake's eyes, its hands, and its voice. Sometimes it requests that people leave, speaks the name of someone they know, talks to them in their sleep, or simply tells them its own name. In the original story, it even horribly wounded the main character's daughter. Now, onto what we're all here for, the origins. The rake was created as a collaborative project between a collection of 4chan users in late 2005. An original iteration of the creature featured three green eyes, one in the middle and two on the sides toward the back. It had no other facial features. It was a neutral being, but if provoked, would open a hidden jaw under the chin, as if it were the top of the mouth. This mouth was filled with a bunch of dull, not sharp, teeth. As you can tell, the design got dumbed down a bit when people inevitably realized that the whole three eyes thing was kind of stupid. Uh, now the iconic and frankly badass drawing of the rake here likely comes from this same collaboration on 4chan, it even has a signature on it dating to 2005 though the earliest archived version of it online on Tenai comes from 2008. The other well-known image is, of course, this classic trail cam photo. A lot of people actually still think it's an image of the rake, partly due to it being covered on a bunch of different news channels. Well, you gotta see what one viewer claims his friend found at a hunting camp in Berwick. I really don't even know what that is. The guy who sent it in didn't want us to mention his name, but tells us this is totally for real. He says last week and his friend's family found one of their hunting camps destroyed, but the SIM card was still there and so was this crazy image. As it turns out, this image was actually made as part of a viral marketing campaign for the Insomniac game Resistance 3. The image is supposed to show an enemy from the game called a Grim. I'm probably the weird one here, but I didn't even know this game existed until now. So in a roundabout way, I guess the marketing campaign worked. Anyway. People speculated it to be the rake at the time solely because children and people inclined to the paranormal tend to be pretty superstitious, and the rake was becoming a fairly well-known creepypasta. And this image, which I think used to be shown on the creepypasta wiki, comes from DeviantArt user The Icky Man in January of 2010. This image depicts a scene from the pasta itself, where the rake sits at the foot of a woman's bed. Lastly, because I remember hearing about it, there's this old YouTube video called Possible Fallen Angel in Catalonia. Some people thought it had the rake in it, but it's pretty clearly not supposed to be the rake. I just read the title. Uh, our investigation into the origins of the rake. Pretty interesting history for a classic cryptid that, in my opinion, did not see anything close to its full potential. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Take care guys, and like I said, don't forget to subscribe. 